There was a, a presentation, I believe, by uh, Vince, right, yesterday on um, some of the road projects. But there was one about the ITC intersection and some upgrades that are going to be happening. Do you have any information about that since you have you on? When? Yeah, I remember. Do you remember just when the, there was the road project in Aganya? Um, gosh, I want to say it was earlier this year, and that just was a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> and that was also. Uh, the ITC intersection, they, they have more alternate routes that we can uh, take to, uh, right. yeah, to but, move people around. But just uh, sorry if you guys covered this because I was uh, checking something. But isn't there a construction ban going on starting tomorrow? Pardon? There's a construction, construction ban going on starting tomorrow, right? So is this going to affect uh, these projects? Yes, uh, so the construction ban uh, uh, starts tomorrow, and uh, public health that has uh, given some guidance. Um, uh, so I guess uh, uh, plumbing, electrical, um, uh, landscape, and... Uh... Jesse there? Yeah, so, so those are basically for... Uh, 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 for uh, emergency work type uh, situations where construction will not be, uh, or not construction, but plumbing, electrical work, and stuff like that would be authorized. Uh, but as far as regular construction, they would always cease. And in order for them to uh, start back work up, they would need to get a uh, uh, public work, uh, public health uh, clearance with their plan of how they're going to open up the construction uh, projects up. And which would need to be approved by the director of uh, public health. Has anybody? You, oh, no, I was gonna say you were kind of breaking up, so I couldn't really hear you. How many projects? Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, basically, all uh, major construction work will stop, will cease. The only way to get construction started back up is that if your your company would have a, a plan submitted to the Department of Public Health for the review and approval. There's some uh, uh, questions that, that would come up uh, when the company makes a request of public health. Mm -hmm. 
Do you guys currently have any uh, construction uh, or contracts with any construction companies uh, for for government of Guam projects that would have to to be suspended uh, on Saturday? Uh, no, no, no major construction that we have at, at this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you? Uh, have sorry. Hey, Jess. You know, so when we have these like big projects, right? Because um, I remember they brought this up back when uh, in the first wave when I, and another time i think when they were talking about pausing uh the governor having the authority to uh stop construction going on in the bases i think the point was brought up about just uh, all these timelines that are in these contracts for these different projects how will this ban affect those uh, timelines and the you know the payment and just all those issues right because i'm pretty sure there are um, issues with, you know, project completion dates and uh, all that kind of stuff. Yes, yeah, so, so we, we're working together with the, the military uh, partners and uh, all of these questions uh, were brought up. So I believe uh, what's happening uh, with the large projects that are on base that are being uh, uh, stopped until this uh, pandemic or until uh, some kind of... Um, um, schedule or uh, uh, working uh, issues of safety for this COVID is uh, uh, um, resolved with the construction companies and the military and public health. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so they're, they're working together on, on trying to figure out how to get this thing under control and then start up work again. Do you have a timeline on that, Jess? I mean, so where the construction ban starts tomorrow, are we going to see these companies come up with a plan on Sunday and then get back to work on Monday, you think? or? Uh, so basically, uh, uh, it's kind of like a 14-day notice, right? Uh, okay. Stop construction and try to get this uh, pandemic uh, control. Right. But uh, certain cases where they need to write to the director of public health and state the case why they want to start up and if they have a safety plan and and it's approved by public health then they'll, they'll probably authorize them to restart up right hey, so uh but uh for now uh we, we just need to make sure that we we keep the community safe uh, from uh the spread of this covid hey man jess feel you on that uh let's talk about dpw so when you guys issue permits right because i know you do that up at the one stop specifically for events um, we had heard that there was a drive-in uh, movie screening or something that was supposed to happen, but in consultation with the Department of Public Health, that event was uh, postponed. That being said, when these uh, organizations come in and they get a permit for an event, whether it's drive-through or whatever type of event it is, is your agency uh, involved in vetting these permits and maybe saying like, oh, uh, I don't know, you might want to check public health for this one because it sounds like it could be risky, or is that something that public health whoa, whoa, whoa. does? So, so basically, on any type of uh, large gathering events uh, with public health or without public health, they still are required to get a one fire department assembly permit for any large gathering event. Yeah, uh, but we're in a pandemic, so who's getting permits for large so, gatherings? Yes. Because we're, we're we're at a the government is, is has a thing of uh, how many people can gather, mm -hmm. so they have to get special permission from public health to to gather in first. large crowds. So that's what they have to do first. Yes, I see. And then they get yes. that approval. It's like okay, Arts and Augustine said and it's then cool. If they get, and then they would submit. Uh, they get approval from public health. Then they would submit it to our uh, one stop fire department section, which. Uh, would require them to have a, an assembly permit, and then they, with the assembly permit, they they come they show them the plan and and all of the emergency access and safety plans for the event, and then it's up to the fire department to approve or disapprove. Interesting. Uh, Bree, you good? No, I wanted okay. to follow up on uh, the Department of Corrections and any assistance that the Department of Public. Uh, works is providing to the Department of Corrections. Okay, at this time, uh, I've been in communication with the uh, Department of Corrections uh, regarding um, the outbreak up there. 
so so there's some uh, stuff that they we're trying to get up, like the, one of the dome tents um, that's uh, down because of a AC unit uh, thing. So, so we we have our engineers uh, that went out the other day, made the assessment, and and we're gonna uh, help uh, the Department of Corrections uh, procure uh, um, uh, AC units and installation. And then there, there's some other stuff that that uh, that uh, they need uh, upgraded, which uh, we're working with them with our engineers. What what are some of those things? So you know, like uh, down at the dome, they, they have a, a uh, restroom that needs to be uh, renovated, which hasn't been used. So we, we're trying to make uh, that restroom uh, uh, usable so that we can uh, try to help DOC uh, manage their pandemic up, at, up in the facility. Do you know how long it, it will take to get um, those air cons uh, that you said that uh, you were working on to procure? Because I know when we had this whole situation, with the uh, SIF, we waited months and months and months for uh, these chillers or these aircon um, units. And maybe it's not yes, the same so sort of the, aircons that you need, but I'm just wondering, is it going to take forever and a day? Okay, so so the difference between um, the SIF and, and DOC, the aircons at DOC are, are smaller units. They're three-ton package units which uh, my guys, as of yesterday, has been sourcing work uh, to locate the amount of uh, AC units needed, and then they'll, they'll put it out on a, a bid to procure. Okay, so you're, you're not anticipating like six months? No, 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 no. Oh, uh, okay. This will be a short time. Uh, it will be fast, faster than Fast track. Than that. It, it, just maybe a couple, uh, maybe a week or so, mm. we'll oh. be able to to and, get it all up and real quickly since i do have you on i wanted to get uh just an update on the flooding mitigation projects in in tumon i want to say that uh uh former governor carl Gutierrez said that he had been working with uh, public works on um the flooding problems down in tumon yes uh governor Gutierrez uh, has been working with us with us and uh, the, one of the issues that we have with uh with tumon it's a funding source you know, we had the money, we, we can solve that problem, but it, it's all about the funding source. Mm -hmm. You know, DPW wasn't budgeted for, for the flooding in two months. Mm -hmm. So if they would want more um, more uh, uh, action on, on getting it done right away, we would need a funding source to, uh, to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I thought I read or heard somewhere that money was being diverted from... Uh, GVB's budget over to DPW since, you know, we're not really marketing and things like yeah. that so that we could, you know, prepare Guam for the eventuality of us reopening tourism. So, yes. So whatever resources I have, uh, uh, try to help them pump out and stuff like that, clear drainages and stuff, that, that, that we can do. But the major stuff is to pump that water out of two months. How do we do it? That's that's costly. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jess. All right. Okay. All right. You. you stay I safe. Appreciate it. Yeah, Jess, be safe. All right. There, hey, Jess, okay. there's virtual empanada there in the Zoom room if you want to uh, taggy. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, okay. Thank you. Take some for Vince. All right. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Right on. Bye, there you go. Uh, 724. Let's keep it in the KUA of News the Zoom room. We kind of got to take a break, though. Uh, let me just take a break really quick. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's 724.